Hello everyone, today we have new video review with fresh weekend edition kit. As you can see, uh, this time it copies Focke Wolf 190A8 with standard wings. So, this kit uh, is molded in 170 second scale, and as you can see here, it features two marking options. And it's based on the fresh plastic from the Edward, which was released relatively recently in the end of the previous year of the last year. Uh, here we can see some information about the kit. And here again, uh, two marking options which are included into this kit. Uh, this is the top opening box, and inside, these are coming as extra. As you can see, Edward released uh, special masks for the kit, and of course, uh, with help of this, uh, let's say stickers, you will get a better result. Nevertheless, let's check standard plastic. As you can see, on the top we have transparent sprue, which is packed into the Ziploc pack. So just give me a second to remove it. Of course it's molded in a circle uh, frame, which is typical for the recent Edward kits. Uh, kit will, uh, I mean, it makes possible to assemble the model with open or closed canopy. And as you can see molding quality is quite nice, parts look uh, transparent, no muted areas or no flash on the parts, so no worries for the molding. Uh, next we have two grey plastic sprues which are packed into the same plastic bag and I would recommend to check everything before the purchase because mm, there are plenty of parts which can be let's say broken off during rough shipment. So here you can see the first grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to the fuselage halves which are molded together with tail segment. Also we have here the wing parts. And note that ailerons are molded separately, but the flaps are molded in and you will have to buy the separate PE upgrade if you want to drop them on your model. And here also you can see the uh, tail wings of which are molded as one piece. Next we have a plastic frame which is full of small parts. And here uh, we have, let's say, um, many parts which won't be used in the assembly because they are designed for the different versions, for example, those antennas, uh, which should be installed on the night version. Uh, nevertheless, here as well we have some parts for the landing gear. For example, here you can see the landing gear OX, which are molded as one piece. Uh, also we have the cockpit floor. Here you can see it. Note that uh, cockpit side walls are molded separately. So you can install either the plastic parts or the PE parts. And of course the pilot seat which is also molded as a one piece part. And it looks nice. Um, as you saw the wing parts they don't include wheel wells because wheel wells and in gear wheel wells are placed as a separate elements. Here you can see two parts and here is another one which should be installed on the model. Next we have assembly manual. Assembly manual was printed in form of this nice small brochure. Of course there is a short history note on the first page. And then comes the parts map and assembly process starts. In the end we have two uh, marking options which are printed in color so you won't get lost. Of course paint numbers are given in Gunzi numbers. And here is the stenciling guide for the model. Even though it's 170 second scale as you can see the stenciling will be quite uh, descriptive and I think it's better than some 148 uh, scale kits. As for the decals, we have two decal sheets. Uh, one contains all necessary symbols, here you can see it. And note that there are decals for the cockpit, I would zoom a camera for you. Here you can see it. So we have a dashboard and we also have belts for the seat. So it's quite a nice addition, I mean, if you want to build it out of the box, just a simple model, you have everything you need. Maybe just you'll have to buy masks in order not to waste your time on cutting this. And here is the second uh, decal sheet, which is uh, dedicated to the stencils. Note that there are two types of the stencils. And of course it's printed in Edward, so printing quality is quite nice and nothing to complain about here. So that's all for this video review. As usual, don't forget to check full review article on our website. And if you like this video, press the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like our Facebook group so that you can get all fresh articles on time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual.